Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. We've got another video for today. And with the release of episode 46, Justice League Dark Curse, now on live server, there were some major changes added, a part of the hotfix notes that uh, we weren't aware of uh, beforehand as players, uh, that will have a major impact on the game going forward. So I wanted to bring those to your attention now. Um, so I'll put them up on the screen here and also I'll kind of show you in game how they're affected as well. But the first change is that the stabilizer duo is back. Uh, so before each day we had to run uh, the stabilizer duo queue up and that's how we got our stabilizer fragments. Uh, then they changed it to where it was a part of the daily login rewards. So basically you logged in, accepted your daily login rewards or back, or you know accepted 10 days at once, etc. And then you had your stabilizer fragments a part of that. And then also there was a stabilizer being able to purchase for the fate tokens on the Dr. Fate vendor as well as the Dakota City vendor recently had that a part of the uh, schematic secondary currency. All those have been removed. So the only way to have stabilizer fragments earned now is in the stabilizer duo. No longer in the daily rewards, no longer in the Dr. Fate vendor, no longer in that Dakota City vendor. So the stabilizers, so the rewards have been increased so that everyone is earning more than they were uh, with for previously when they're due. So we do get more overall stagment, uh, fragments. It's just that you're going to have to queue the duo every single day. And it's not like with the daily rewards where, say, if you didn't log in, you know, you logged in or didn't run the duo, you could still collect your rewards after the fact. You're going to have to run that duo every single day, a part of your daily routine again, um, which I know personally, I don't have any thoughts about the duo. I mean, it, it is what it is. Uh, the issue more was it just this the duo instance itself like if you're playing at like odds hour of the day and you sit there for like five ten minutes in the queue some other platforms like xbox or switch may take even longer just due to population typically you have players afk which i mean since it's the duo and it's not a huge deal anyway uh but uh it just adds time obviously if they're gonna afk in the duo for you but uh, that's the major difference. So make sure you're running that every single day and looking for that in your menu again, because that's the only way you're gonna earn stabilizers now in the game going forward. The second major change is that artifact XP is now account bound. So what that means is any kind of nth metal that drops, including the nth metal caches, the nth metal detectors, and the nth metal that was previously a part of say time capsules or booster bundles, the big one being the, the thousand flawless nth metal, those are part of the booster bundles. Those are account bound now. So you can no longer trade nth metal on the broker. So I know a lot of people were trading, like that's how they made their money. They farmed, the, they bought nth metal detectors. They farmed the caches, either opened them for themselves or pretty much just gathered the caches and sold them on the broker uh, just by playing uh, you know, the game daily. Uh, but that is no longer a way to earn money that has been removed. Uh, as well, I mean, it's not going to matter as much right now because there's no booster bundle active, but the next booster bundle that drops, you're going to have a whole bunch of those flaws nth metal depending on when you booster bundles you buy. And before, people would just trade them on the broker because either they didn't need them or it was an easy way to make money. Uh, but now that has been completely removed. Every single nth metal is now account bound. The other major change was that there's an omnibus loot lock now. So... It says there's a Omnibus content has a short five minute loot lockout to prevent exploitation. So that was, uh, you may, you know, it depends if you heard from the grapevine or may, may not know. Uh, a lot of Omnibus content was being speed hacked where they could basically kill a boss, teleport back towards outside the door and then kill the boss again because it refreshed. And they're basically just doing that on the end of the cycle. You could get like 100,000, 50,000, whatever source marks, you know, pretty much endless. You just sat there for, you know, eight hours a day farming source marks because you could be AFK. Uh, so that was their attempt to fix that. So that uh, that's the reason why we don't have Coast City, the reason why we don't have like, or like Batman Outer Caverns was taken down for a while. The reason why if a content piece disappears for a while, uh, that is why it was being speed hacked for source marks. Uh, so that was their adjustment there. So what that means is that if you queue up an omnibus, anything, any but anything that's omnibus, if you defeat a boss, you can still defeat the next one within five minutes and get loot. You just can't defeat the same one. So say for example, you do a duo, kill Sinestro, uh, then you queue the duo again to farm it. If you kill that, if you can't kill Sinestro within five minutes again, or you're not going to get loot. So the biggest indicator with that is Ultimate Soldier. So the community farmed Ultimate Soldier for source mark raids, similar like FOSS 3, they kind of, uh, FOSS 3 was the first one, then they kind of nerfed the rewards so then USR was better, or even Ultimate Soldier Elite. But the problem is 
you could easily kill and the entire raid and defeat the entirety of ultimate soldier within that three minute window usually it was like two if you had a really good group it'd be like two minutes and 30 seconds i think we got it down to uh but that's the thing if you queue up that raid within five minutes you're not going to get loot again so now you have to have spend at least five minutes between or in total for you uh, ultimate soldier raids or you're not going to get any loot the second time around so that definitely impacts uh raids and content when there are double source mark weeks or just in general uh so that's another thing to be highly be aware of because you're not going to get loot so let's jump in the game and actually show you what that means just so you're aware here so if i go to my daily rewards menu all the nth metal that was here or sorry not nth metal, the, the stabilizer fragments are gone so if you scroll through your daily rewards you're not going to see any stabilizer fragments a part of those rewards if I go to the Dr. Fate vendor, that stabilizer mark that you could purchase for the Fate tokens has been removed. And if I go to uh, Dakota City, Offers to Stone, that stabilizer token has been removed from his loot list. And then if I want to see in terms of the on duty menu, now you're going to see the stabilizer fragmentation duo back. I guess technically it does earn source marks too. So you'll, you'll earn a little bit more source marks, I guess as well, uh, because you're getting stabilizer fragments and source mark. And then if I go back to the uh, broker, So in my inventory, I do have a stabilizer cache. You do see it's account bound. If I want to sell that or add it, it's not in my inventory list to add, nor can I search anything by nth. Well, I should say at the moment, the PC nth metal detectors seem to work. I don't know about PlayStation. Uh, the developers have said they don't intend the nth metal detectors to work. So, I mean, as of right now, you, you could trade them. Uh, but it could just be a PC thing. It just it's kind of trade across platforms. It just means that a PlayStation player I can't trade this to and it's detector and vice versa. So if you're a PlayStation player or Xbox switch and go to your um, broker, you're not going to see any PC listed ones. So that's what that means about cannot trade across platforms. Um, maybe a PS player can confirm or Xbox in the comment section if your anthem detectors have been changed to account bound. But definitely the cache. So if I open the cache, same thing. It's it's gonna, all going to be account bound. So I cannot trade any nth metal caches. I cannot trade any nth metal. So we'll certainly get into the rest of the DLC here. These are just the major changes that came out today. They were kind of hidden in the hotfix notes at the bottom. Uh, so I want to make sure that you're aware because this definitely impacts your gaming experience moving forward. So take care, guys. We'll see you in the next video.